Hello fellow educators. Today we are going to talk about read alouds and share a new and innovative app that can change your lessons from blah to hurrah. Do any of your students dread reading? Do they struggle with making connections after they have read something? Do they lack motivation to write? Are you looking for fun and interactive ways to engage and motivate students to build reading and writing skills? Well look no further. Read alouds may just be your solution. Read alouds provide opportunities to directly scaffold student learning and build background knowledge for deeper understanding of topics. They can stimulate student curiosity and provide opportunities to create connections and build their comprehension on more complex subject matters. Read alouds provide the perfect opportunity to support and stimulate student learning. Let me introduce you to Little Bird Tales, storytelling made easy. This is a great tool for teachers to use in their classrooms for students of all ages. The purpose of this app is to create a place for students to create authentic student read-alouds through virtual stories. The students are engaged and active in creating stories and recording their own voices with original pictures or uploaded images to create their virtual stories. This app is a great tool for creating a classroom community of readers and writers and enables students to interact with each other's virtual stories and develop a classroom of authentic student-created virtual books. Little Bird Tales is a free app, but does have additional fees for upgraded storage space. It is compatible on all iOS devices and computers too. Plus, it is also smart board friendly. This app enables students of all ages to create, engage, collaborate, and share their creations. This app is geared towards students and is working to make more students productive while incorporating technology into the classroom. The classroom applications for Little Bird Tales are that it can create custom lessons. It is Common Core aligned, and it is also a great technology tool to assist students in their writing process. The Little Bird Tales app is not limited to storytelling, but can also be used for book reports, podcasts, student journals, class blogs, and much more. Let's have Myra walk you through the easy four-step process. To make your own Little Bird Tale, just follow these four easy steps. Step one, first, you'll need to create the cover page of your virtual book. You have three options. You can upload an image, download an image from the device gallery, or draw your own image using the drawings feature. This feature is unique because it allows the students freedom to create their own images. The app features include a paintbrush, a standard line, or shape options and text, all with a wide variety of colors. Once you have created the cover page, you can now add the title to the book as well as the author's name. Here you have the option to record your own voice, reading the title of the book and the author's name. To do this, you simply need to click on the record button and press allow, then begin recording. Once you're finished, press the stop button. Now your cover page is ready. Step 2. To add pages to your virtual book, all you need to do is click on the Add Page button. On these pages, you will follow the same process as the cover page. Here is where the student can begin narrating their stories and incorporating their art or photos into the pages. There is also an Add Text feature that can allow them to include text of their narration to appear on the page. Step 3. The students can complete the same steps for as many pages as they like. Step 4. Once they have completed their entire story, they can then save and share their work. And that's the easy four-step process of creating a little bird tail. Here's a real sample of a student-made little bird tail. The six-year-old kindergarten student completed this easy four-step process all on her own. Take a look. The Little Butterfly One time there was a little butterfly. It was sad because it didn't know how to fly. So she tried her hardest and practiced a lot. Then she flied. The end.